I want to do a dilantid uh, calculation here. I um, haven't done this in class and I haven't given you any problems with it, so I think I will make this an extra point. I just really want uh, you to kind of understand how to do it. And I'm, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, this, this uh, problem here that I'm working on. I'll put it on files, uh, or no, I'll just email it to you so that you can kind of work along with it on the paper. But what I've got here is a patient is to be administered phenytoin, it's dilantin, uh, and a phenytoin infusion, that means IV, uh, for status epilepticus, which is seizures. The patient weighs 235 pounds. The order, uh, the ordered dose is 20, 20 milligrams per kilogram with a maximum of one gram. So, Twenty milligrams per kilogram. Max dose one thousand milligrams. The patient's weight is two hundred and thirty five pounds. And we're to give 20 milligrams per kilogram, right, with a max of 1,000. So first of all, let's convert that. You take the 235 uh, pounds uh, divided by 2.2, and you get 100 and 106.8, which we'll just round that off to 107 kilograms. Right, so we got 107 kilograms. So now we're supposed to give 20 milligrams per kilogram. So obviously you have to take 107 times 20 equals 2,140. Well, we have a maximum of 1,000. So we know that we're going we're to hit that way over that maximum. So the max is what we're going to give. 1,000 milligrams we give. Now there's another part of this. I don't, don't remember if I said it or not, but the patient weighs 235 pounds. The ordered dose is 20 milligrams per kilogram with a max of 1,000 milligrams IV infusion. The infusion is not to exceed 50 milligrams per minute. When you figure out your dose, whatever that dose is, it cannot be infused faster than 50 milligrams per minute. So your max infusion rate, I'll put it up here, max infusion rate is 50 milligrams per minute. So we got a maximum infusion rate of 50 milligrams per minute. We know that we got to give a thousand milligrams. Now let's let's talk about our concentration that we have. And this is typical concentrations, typical way for this to, to come in. Um, for infusion, we are to add 1,000 milligrams to a 100 ml bag of saline. Uh, dilantin, phenytoin, this medicine here, that's all, pretty much the only thing that it's, uh, that it's compatible with is saline. So, so on hand, we have 500 milligrams per 1 ml vial. That's what we have on hand, a 100 milliliter bag of normal saline. So we're going to have to put two of these vials in this 100 milliliter bag in order to have 1,000 milligrams. Right? We need to get 1,000 milligrams. We have 500 milligrams in each vial. So we took two vials. That means that we're putting two milliliters in this bag, right? So the first thing you do is you take two milliliters out of the bag, which brings you down to 98 milliliters, then you put this two milliliters of the of the medicine in the bag, so we still have 100, milliliter, 100 milliliters in the bag, and we have 
let's let's write this a little different. We said the 100 milliliters in the bag, but we have 1,000 milligrams. The two mils that we put in is 1,000 milligrams. 1,000 milligrams, and it's in 100. milliliters right so do you understand how we mix that we took two milliliters which is which is 1000 milligrams and we put it in the bag after we took two milliliters out so that that way the bag was still 100 milliliters right you took two milliliters out and you put two milliliters of which was equal to 1000 milligrams in the bag so now we end up with this concentration, 1,000 milligrams and 100 milliliters. We can remember what, we, what, we have, what we're trying to do here. We're trying to give uh, 1,000 milligrams is what we figured out. By We took his weight, we figured out how much he gets, and it was way over the 1,000 max, so we got to give 1,000 milligrams, right? and we have a concentration of 1,000 milligrams and 100 milliliters over there. So how much do we have to give total? 100 milliliters, right? The entire bag that we just mixed up over there with 1,000 milligrams in it, that's the bag that we have to give, the entire bag. That will be this 1,000 milligrams, right? Because we just mixed that up. But the kicker is a maximum infusion rate of 50 milligrams per minute. So we can't just dump the bag of 100 milliliters in to get to 1,000 milligrams, right? We can't dump it in as fast as we want. We have this infusion rate of 50 milligrams per, mil per minute. So we, so in order to get that, we got to do some figuring. And I like to take the, uh, and do the dose on, do desired dose over dose on hand we got 1,000 milligrams and 100 milliliters. Uh, how, many millig how many milligrams per milliliter is that? We take the 1,000, divide it by 100, and that means it's 10 milligrams per one milliliter. So we got one mil 10 milligrams per milliliter. We want to give uh, 50 milligrams per milliliter, right? That's the maximum infusion rate. Might as well give the maximum infusion rate. So 50 milligrams per milliliter, uh, 10 milli or we want to give 50 milligrams per minute, right? The maximum infusion rate is 50 milligrams per minute. So we want to give 50 milligrams per minute. We have 10 milligrams per milliliter. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out, right? 50 milligrams would be five milliliters. So we can give five milliliters a minute. But we'll go ahead and figure that out as a desired dose over dose on hand. And so we say desired dose is 50 milligrams. Dose on hand is 10 milligrams times your volume, one milliliter. Well, we got a milligram on the top and bottom, so we can go ahead and, and wipe those two things out. So now you go. <clears throat> So now, we're, so now we go 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5, and we got mil, times their 1 milliliter makes it milliliters. So we got 5 milliliters per minute. That's what we've been figuring out. That's what we can give because we knew that we could give the 50. We knew up there that we could give the uh, uh, 50 milligrams a minute. So we figured this all out. So we can give 5 milliliters a minute. Okay, so we're not done, of course, because our doses are all on the pump. We need to get to mLs per hour. So we can get 50, 5 milliliters a minute. We can get 5 milliliters a minute. So in an hour, we got to multiply 5 times 60 so that we know how much to give an hour because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So 5 times 60 is 300. 300 milliliters per hour. How long is that going to take to infuse? That's, quite, that's one part of the question I'll ask you. Okay, so we know that we're giving 300 milliliters per hour, right? In order to get our gram in. So we figured all that out. Now, I might ask you, how long will that take to infuse? And it can be a little bit tricky because it's less than an hour. The way I've always done it, uh, 
is it's real the real simple way is you think about it if you think about let let's just hypothetically say that our answer was 200 milliliters an hour just because it's a little bit easier in the on the brain so if you were going to do it at 200 milliliters an hour and we have a bag of 100 milliliters how long will it take to infuse well you're going 200 an hour we're only infusing 100 that's half of that 200 so we would it would only take half an hour to infuse to infuse a bag of 100 if it's a rate of 200 an hour now here we've got 300 an hour right so if it, with a rate of 300 an hour um, that means that our 100 bag actually could be infused three times right and in, in that in that one hour because 300 will go in in a whole hour so you need one third of that hour right and one third of that hour is 20 minutes so that's your answer uh, you can do it the other way uh, uh, let's say you know something that you know how to do let's say that you had an infusion of 2000 milliliters that going at 500 milliliters an hour how long will that take to infuse well you take the 2000 and divide it by the 500 and that's four so it take four hours right now let's do that same calculation here because it's the same thing really but our less answer is less than an hour so it can be kind of confusing so we're infusing 100 mls we're doing it at uh, we're doing it at 300 an hour so divide it by 300 and that'll tell us how many hours it's going to take 0.333333 uh, mil, uh, hours so that's how long it's going to take or well, less than an hour because it's less than one well we knew it was going to be less than an hour right so now you can we want our answer in minutes because it's less one time you're less than an hour give your answer in minutes so now multiply that by 60 and our answer is 20 right 20 minutes so you can do it that way if you want um, the thing about dilantin or phenytoin is uh, the way that it's always ordered it will be it will be ordered uh, something like that right it'll be ordered so and uh, most of the time this is what you give I, I knew that without even figuring it out because I've given phenytoin many many times and most of the time the person is over the maximum dose of a thousand so I'm usually given a thousand for a loading dose yeah once you've been working you just know that that you give it at 300 mls per hour and it's going to be in in 20 minutes you just know that because you've given it a few times and you remember um, so in the future uh, when or when you're out there working maybe the first couple times you'll have to get pencil and paper out and figure it out and you probably won't even do that you'll just ask another nurse hey I got to give this uh, gram of of Dilantin, how fast can I give it? They'll say, they'll say, oh, give it at 300 ml mLs per hour. It'll go in in 20 minutes. You know, they'll just know. Uh, there's probably every nurse on the floor knows that. <clears throat>